Hi, traders, it's Roberto, and this is lesson four of the price action video series. And in this lesson, I'm going to go over a real simple strategy. You can do this on any time frame. I prefer the four hour charts because I'm looking for um, a maximum of 50, 200 pips on a trade. So, the two things that I need, and I use the Smart Trader platform because it generates those candlestick patterns that I'm looking for. So let's look at the 10 most effective candlestick patterns. The first one obviously is the inverse hammer and that signals a reversal pattern. So when this appears on a chart what I'm looking for is price to break above the body of the candle. If it doesn't then it's not confirmed. Okay so that's um, the first candle. Second candle is an engulfing, it's like this, um, it first rallies and then it closes at the bottom and then the next candle closes above. So this three candle pattern is, is an inverse hammer. Okay, so this is very similar to this one, but it's inverse. So those two, the potential direction is to the upside. So a long sell off and then the market turns around. Okay, and then we have the engulfing, bullish engulfing candle. There are two. One is bearish, one is bullish. Notice that this candle is uh, engulf is the previous candle. Okay, so that's another one. Piercing candlestick pattern when um, a strong body closes about halfway uh, from the previous candle. Okay, more than halfway rather. Okay. So that reversal after a long downward trend. Then we have the morning star. It's a three candle pattern and price needs to break above this three candle pattern to confirm the direction. Okay. And then we have a hangman. That's a bearish candle part uh, pattern when markets in an uptrend and then the body closes at the top with a long wick and the next candle breaks below the body of this candle. And then we have a shooting star. You can actually use these three candles as an evening star. But this was the same as the bearish uh, candle when it was this was at the bottom with the wick on the bottom. So here's a bearish engulfing candle with the body of the candle uh, is engulfing the previous. And this one on this um, demonstration it really doesn't show it clearly this whole body should co completely cover the body of the previous candle so that's a mistake they made there okay we have three crows when we have three consecutive candles um, potential of a downtrend is to the downside okay so let's go to the chart and apply those candlestick patterns the only difference that I use is um, is Western indicator so you can use RSI um, stochastics I use stochastics oscillator 14 5 and 3 on the 4 hour chart so I'm going to show you how many trades and how many pips on each trade just using a simple strategy of reversal candlestick patterns and overbought or oversold stochastics on a 4 hour chart and this really takes the guesswork out of trading and you know just placing bad trades all together because you're looking for something specific to in the market to indicate that yes the market is completely overbought in this case and the bears are coming in pushing price down and the bulls get out of the way so in order to qualify the trade I've got stochastics needs to be up at 80 um, there are times when it doesn't have to, but this is a perfect trade setup. Let me make it a little bigger. This bearish candle engulfs not one, but two candles, previous candles. Then I count the number of pips from the swing low to the swing high, and it's generated 120 pips. And that's good because I know I should be able to make at least half of that. Because this rally that actually started all the way back here is over. It's 178 pips. Stochastics is overbought. Your stop loss always is above the 
reversal candlestick pattern. Now, as far as targets, that's different for everyone. Um, I'm looking at support levels and see where I can get out. I mean, here's a support level here. And then there's the next support level is down here. So these are two areas where I would would have ended up taking profit. Okay. And then stochastics is oversold. And then you start looking for buying opportunities. Stochastics is down here. Oversold stochastics on the four hour chart. What do we have? A bullish engulfing candle on the four hour chart. Smart trader generates the signal for you. You don't have to figure out if it's a bullish piercing candle or not. There it is. And then you take a trade on the next candle. Your stop loss is always below the alert candle. Okay. Now, the number of pips previously was what? About 115 pips. I should be able to capture half of that going up. And it went up quite a bit, went all the way up to here, 64 pips. Would have exited that trade before it got to that level, but still the entry was right. And there is the target. Okay, let's look at some more. The only way that you can perfect this trading system is to find, go back in history and practice. Look at a lot of setups because the more you can find, the easier it is. Because when you do find it on real time, you don't have to practice anymore. You see it. This is a bullish piercing line. And the candle is highlighted. That's what Smart Trader does. It highlights the reversal candlestick pattern. You take your trade on your next candle. Your stop loss is always below the reversal candle. Okay. Now, I spend every day looking for setups because I know the more I practice, the easier it's going to be in real time. If I do not practice, if I see a setup, I'm going to hesitate. I'm going to have some doubt. If it turns against me 10 or 20 pips, I may exit the trade. But if I do this every day, then when the market opens and I do see a trade set up, I qualify it. And I see a bearish dark cloud here. And I notice that the cast six is overbought. And then I count the number of pips from the previous swing low to swing high. 125 pips. I should be able to make 60 pips to the downside. And as it turned out on this trade, it completely gave everything back. So about 100, what, 192 pips to the downside. Again, I cannot emphasize this enough. The only way you can become perfected in this strategy is that if you practice, because you need to know the candlestick patterns like the back of your hand. Here is an evening star. We have three candle pattern, right? on a four hour chart and stochastics is overbought so that's a perfect trade setup okay now the next support level is like here so if you took the trade notice that it retraced but it never broke the swing high of that candle take your trade on the next candle you can wait till it retraces and enter up here at 70 pips to the downside, if you didn't do that, maybe you took your candle here. 57 pips to the downside, okay. So it doesn't matter what currency pair you trade. You're looking, you can be looking at 15 different pairs, but you're looking for the same thing on all these trades, okay. You're looking for a candlestick reversal pattern, okay. So that's it. That concludes the tutorial on price action on using candlestick patterns.